Hi everybody, how are you? This is Miss Emmy. This week we need to revise Unit 7. I hope that you read everything and you're ready for this lesson. I will just go quickly with you through all the pages that we did. On this page we had to talk about the animals and we had to describe them. Remember? Did you describe them? Good job! The next page was 99. We had to match the words from the dictionary to their meanings, mountain, adventure, and zoo. Here you had to describe the bear and the snake, and then to write which other animals can be found in, found in the zoos. And page 100. You had to read the dancing bear. Do you remember it? Did you like it? Do you remember the characters? Do you remember the setting? What is the place? Where is the story happening? Was it real story or not real story? And then we kept reading page 101. We kept reading to the next page and reading and reading. It was a long story, right? Okay, then we had pages 103, reading more and more. This was the second week of unit 7. We had more vocabulary words. Let me see if I can move this recording button somewhere else. Great, it can go here. Perfect. Okay. And then we had to answer where is the story set and who is telling the story. Do you remember this one? It's really important to know who was telling the story. Remember? I think somebody just said the correct answer. Good job. And how was the grandfather making money from the bear? And what does Roxanne do after school each day? We answered all of these. Do you think Bruno is happy in the cage? And what do you think will be the ending for the story? I hope you had some amazing ideas. Okay. After we read all of this, we had also a text in the workbook, Mountain Bear Adventure, to read when she was singing and she wanted to go with somebody. Do you remember the name? What was the name of the boy that Roxanne wanted to go with? Yes, it was Mickey. Good job. And then on the other page, sorry, not this one, you had to answer questions. What does the teacher do to try to calm Bruno down? And what does Roxanne promise to Bruno? And then to read the sentences and pick two that are true. And in the end, you had to write... How do you think Roxanne feels about leaving her village? I hope you wrote the ideas and did all of this. Here I have the video for the quiz 3 and I posted it on LMS for you. I hope you did it. I will ask if we can find a way that you send me pictures of your quizzes so I can grade them for you. Okay. And then I uploaded for you April reading worksheet. Did you see that one? We're going to answer this one. I will open the answer key. So you can do the same. You open the, the sheet that you're going to write. And I will open the answer key immediately. Okay. So on top, you have to write the name and your class. And then we're going just to answer this together. Five animals that you can find in a zoo. Any five animals. I will say, for example... Um, any animal, like a lion, was it typing, a lion, and what else, mm, elephant, and what else did I see, a cam, a camel, no, camels, you see them all the time, let's think of some other animal, oh, we can see a fox maybe, and what else can we find in the zoo, help me guys, what other animals? What can we see in a zoo? Mm. Tigers, okay. Rabbits, goats, sometimes even sheep, right? And maybe ostrich. And which other animals can we find in the zoo? There are so many. A pony, sometimes there is a pony for you to play with, right? And I'm thinking when I went to the zoo, which animals I saw. I saw a lot of birds and parrots. And 
I saw a hippo and I saw a wolf. They're always fascinating. Okay, so you don't write the same animals like me. I will raise it now. You write any animals that you can see in the zoo. Any animal that you like. Any animal you would like to see in the zoo. Okay? So, this is up to you. There is no wrong answer. Where did Roxanne find the bear? By the stream? In a cage? Or on the street? By the stream. Remember the meaning of stream? Something like a very small river. The word cub means big, or baby, or old. Cub is a baby. Good. You can just circle B or you can color it or you can write it on the line, anything you like. <laughs> Next question. Who will take care of Bruno when Roxanne leaves? Who is that going to be? Grandpa or teacher or mother? A teacher will take care of Bruno. Good. Roxanne runs with Bruno in the park, fields or zoo? In the fields. Good. For next question, we had to tick for the true and put X for false. Roxanne's grandpa agreed to keep the bear at the beginning. Do you remember this? Did he want to keep the bear immediately? No, that's wrong. Number two. Roxanne went with Nikki to sing and be rich. Did she go in the end? Yes. So here we will tick for correct. Bruno helped Grandpa to be rich. Yes. Do you remember why? Because of the honey. The picture of Bruno to help him sell the honey. Roxanne's voice is better than the Skylarks. Yes, correct. Nikki has houses all over the world. Yes, he said that. Also correct. Now, part B. You had to read this part. Roxanne lived with her grandfather in a, in a mountain village. One day when she was seven years old, Roxanne found and adopted a wild bear cub. Her school teacher remembers the day it happened. It changed all their lives. Roxanne was staggering towards us, clutching a cub, bear cub in her arms, with its arms wrapped around her neck. She was laughing and breathless with joy. Bruno, she said. He's called Bruno. She found him by the stream. Mm -hmm. Here, we should do this. Good. Now for answering the questions. Where is the story set? In a mountain village. Who is telling us the story? Her school teacher. Where does she find the bear cub? By the stream. And what is... Sorry, we jumped. Wait a second. What is the name of the bear? Bruno. Now we should read this part again. Then someone wrote an article about Bruno in a local newspaper and there was a piece on the radio. People flocked to the village to see the bear and the old man's honey sold out in a few weeks. Roxanne's grandfather was raking in the money. Roxanne took no notice of any of this. So long as Bruno was happy, she was too. She lived for the moment after school each day when she would let him out of his cage and they would run together across the fields. Often I saw them sitting together on a hillside. She'd be talking to him or singing to him. And when, the, and when she sang now, she shamed even the skylarks to silence. Roxanne sang, as I hope the angels sing. Okay, we read this before. So we should complete the sentences someone wrote an article about hmm in a local newspaper the article was about bruno good good next one i wish you're reading this for me roxanne's grandfather's honey was sold out in a few weeks and that made him raking in the money oops what is this what did i do this is what i want after school each day, she would let Bruno out of his cage. Out of the cage. Bruno lived in a cage. They would run together across the 
streets. No, across the fields. No streets. Okay, and I guess this is the final one. Draw lines to match the words to their meanings. Okay, I'll read it again. Mountain is a large steep hill. Adventure, an exciting experience. Zoo, a place where wild animals are kept for people to see. Okay, let me move down a little bit. Raking in the money, earning lots of money. Scruff of the neck, the back of the neck. Skylarks, birds that sing as they hover in the air. Oops, can I go more down? Grasped, took hold of something firmly, like when you grab it, you don't want to leave it. Blamed, said someone has done something wrong. Abandoning, leaving alone, and shamed, made to feel ashamed. Okay, guys, I will ask you now that you read one more time all these texts that we did in unit seven. So pages 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, then continuing text 103, 4, 5. Check the questions on 100, 106 and 107 and check these two pages, workbook page 60 and workbook page 61. Next week, you will have a quiz, online quiz for this story, okay? I will make a quiz for you. You will have questions or maybe not next week. Maybe you will have exam. I'm not sure. Anyhow, I will make you a quiz for this one and we will see when are you going to solve it. I will write you questions, something similar like this one, April uh, reading worksheet. You will maybe have some matching or just to write a short answer or you will have to read a piece of text and then answer something or you will just have to click on the correct answer, something like this. It will not be so hard and it will be extremely easy if you read the text, okay? If you have any questions at all, please just write me on LMS and I will make sure I answer it as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much. I really miss you. I hope you're all safe and having fun. Bye.